My makeup for what I would wear when I have um, tan skin and my um, fake tanning routine. My whole fake tan is wash off fake tan apart from my face. Um, I have a little mask for that and I'll show you that later. But my whole body is wash off fake tan. I only fake tan my arms and my neck because, and like around my ears and things like that because that's the only part of my body that I show. If I do show any other part of my body that day that I, you know, I want to, this is a really quick and easy way to um, fake tan without, you know, commitment. And I feel like me, especially, I go to orange and too dark, and then I'm like, oh crap, I've got to stick with this for about a week and a bit. Um, where with this, I've kind of, it's like a moisturizer. I've mixed things with my cream, so I just put it on every day as a cream, and it's really easy to make. You should have all most of the ingredients at home um, and yeah I'm going to show you how to make it and this may be a long video medium size I don't know um, depends how much I wrap on you guys know I wrap a lot um, but yeah I'm going to do a get ready with me for my face um, I'm going to do my eyes but in a separate video um, and yeah and we're gonna sh I'm going to show you my routine and now the sun might change a bit so sorry about that oh I mean Matia was back there I don't know if you can he's chilling he's watching me he's fine so last night, had a shower, got out, um, and I put some of my DIY fake tan on. This is literally this um, cream, which is the NSPA um, coconut cream. Any cream will do. I've mixed a ton of different ones in here, actually. I've mixed a bit of my LaRocca one, my One Direction one, a bit of olive oil, like a bit of everything, some scents in there, um, like just every cream that I had for really. So And then what I've done is, I was like, okay, so I want this to have a good base colour, but I don't want it to stay on so long, but I don't want it to come off, and like, oh, I was like, I want it in the middle. I did put a bit of my fake tan in there, St. Marais, um, just like quite a lot of it, actually, um, but yeah, I really love the colour of this, so I thought I'd give it a nice real fake tan colour and last a tiny bit longer, um, but as soon as it hits water, it comes off anyway, guys, um, with a sheen of tan left on your skin, but honestly, as soon as it hits water it comes off so just warning you that but I love it um because I just go and shower the next day and if I can't bother to fake tan I don't have to like I can change my skin tone so I, I then took the entire amount because I had a lot of fake tan in there and I didn't really want to waste this I love this for my face when I am fake tanning instant fake tan wash off um just again to give it that rich tan real kind of tan look the ingredient um chocolate hot chocolate packet um i would recommend the real hot chocolates but i tested it on my skin my skin's pretty durable like it takes a lot um and it worked absolutely fine and it didn't damage my skin at all but i would recommend mixing the product together like a tiny bit put it on like your wrist or and the um behind your ear and like around your elbow area i would recommend putting them on all of the um skin test spots and leave it on there overnight and then you can just wash it off in the morning and then put the tan on in the morning if it is okay. I have still got a cold you guys. I'm going to sneeze. And sometimes I do this, not all the time. Um, day, le delay, so delay, um, whatever this is called. Bonjour, you know the, the bronzing powder by Bonjour, it's in a spray and I just spray this on my arms. I don't normally do this but I was like I haven't used this in ages um so I'll just give me a little and this is also like a wash off fake tan um which I, I just love wash off fake tan like because it's just so easy oh I've got a cut on my lip I was trying to be cool with Lacey on FaceTime and it failed obviously um I was about to go to the shower and I was trying to be cool when I was holding the razor and like oh, it just happened okay but it's still it's really smooth not gonna lie um but Lesson on that. Lastly, I think this is my favourite. I really always go for these two mixed together. This is just a really dark powder. Let me get the name of it. I don't know the name of it. I think it's that um, W7 and it had a load of shimmer in it so I couldn't use it for my face. And I literally just set everything with it and I go over this in the morning as well, which I'm going to show you a clip of me doing now in front of you. And yeah, I just go in all neck and my arms with this. And yeah, last night, I'm going to do this again tonight, but, um, so hopefully tonight's video will be up here because I didn't film it last night. Um, this is James Reed Overnight Fake Tan Sleep Mask. Lacey gave me this and 
I wore it once and I was like, oh, it's terrible. I wore it again today and it looks really good. You only need a tiny amount. I think I put like enough on for four weeks when I first done it. Um, but you need a tiniest amount. It's all jelly, like really, really nice gel. And you put it on your face and it doesn't dry my face out. And you guys know I have the driest skin ever. So that's great. Um, and then I just whack my olive oil on top of it and go to bed. Um, well, I leave it to dry for a bit and then I whack my olive oil on top of it. Um, and yeah, that's my face and my body routine for tanning. I have a little drawer for tanning. I'll just show you it. I might as well now that I'm here. Um, there you go. There's my little drawer for fake tanning. It's just got everything I need in it. A lot of hot chocolate palettes, eyeshadow, shimmers if I want some, things like that. Um, I also put my Max Max on in here. Oh yeah, I put a tiniest bit of this in there just to give it some coverage. Like, um, yeah, hot chocolate palettes, um, pa packets, some scents that I can use in there, and I really like this um, on my face before I do the fake tan. This is the hydrating face mask by. Um, I think it's just super drug. Um, so yeah, this is like moisturising one. And yeah, I've just got a load of palettes and things like that in here to mix on with the cream. So when I'm fake tanning, I love to use Olivia Men. I love to use it anyway. But I like to use it on its own. I don't know why. Don't worry, after this, my hair's going to be fine. Um, well, in a normal ponytail. Um, so, I like to use this. I mix them two together and put them on my face. I switch this to baby oil instead of olive oil. Um, I just find, I don't know, it's a bit lighter on the skin. Women and baby oil mixed together, put on my skin. Spray my face with my spray just to add a little something. Um, I always do this in every video, so um, it just makes my skin less dry when I put powder on it and today we're using some press powder so I need the most less dryness I can get so I'm back and I am now going to take the Revolution Focus Fix Concealer I absolutely love this and oh so much is coming I absolutely love this and I'm going to put that under my eyes sorry about that I just got a call <gasps> I'm now going to take a mixture of Bronze me fake tan as I spoke about in the beginning. Gorgeous flawless. I love this. And I essentially got this like at a cheap store. So um, I might have to go and get some more of this because it's great. And a bit of the oil mixed together. And I'm gonna buff that out. And yeah. I'm then going to set my face with the L'Oreal cream powder. Um, press that on. And cook under my eyes with the baking, not baking powder. Baby powder. I'm going to spray my face again so I'm not dry. So I've done that. I am now going to do the Good To Glow bronzer. Um, I'm going to do something different. I like to do this when I've got fake tan on because it makes it more noticeable. I take a um, flat top angle brush with a bit of roundness to it, really pack it in and then blend it out with a bigger brush than what I normally do. Um, I just feel, yeah, it makes it more noticeable. Then for blush, I haven't used this in ages. This is Bonjour. Rose Fusion, Fusion, yeah, um, and I'm going to use that for my blush because it's just a really light blush. But I like to go for a pinky kind of side. This is MUA Undressed Skin in Pink Shimmer. So I'm going to put that all over my highlighted area. Freak a leg.